The recycling bug is fixed. I don't know why Matteo didn't cover this, but when you recycle your traps and your weapons, it now gives the correct amount. You can see that is what a normal campfire would give you. And inversely, weapons are now giving you back to what they used to. It was kind of nice to get so much from these weapons. I told you guys to recycle as many weapons as you could out in the world as possible. Do your glowing animals, encampments. Uh, well, encampments don't, but uh, storm chests, target practice, all that. But uh, yeah, everything's back to normal on that front. You can recycle happily. Also, a little warning about Mythic Storm King right now. I don't know precisely what causes this, but reports are showing that the game is soft locking in the Mythic Storm King fight it seems like when you break a crystal while he's spinning you can't finish the fight and it's just a little buggy right now in general so yeah if you're trying to do the msk fight just be wary of what's going on there just be be warned uh it is also a mutant season everybody this is very very important that means we are going to be getting less v bucks in general for the next five months so um yes less v bucks should be normal also, uh, weekly side of things, we have a uh, hero supercharger this week. If you want to know how to do that, ask in the comments. I have a copy paste. Other people will tell you as well. It's uh, pretty easy. I think you need to do twine defense 10, candy 5, you need like candy storm shield 5. You need to be like halfway through the quest line. And then you can be power level 124 when you can queue it. Also, survive the horde. So we have low gravity this week. Uh, <clears throat> let me see here. I have to go off to a side monitor to go back to the update we just had so challenge week two low gravity the magnetic field has shifted rendering hoverboards inoperable and changing the effects of gravity jump higher move faster as your melee attacks knock back the hordes of husks and then it should have said more but anyway that's it basically you you jump slowly and you can't hoverboard so i think directional pads will be really good for moving around we're going to be checking that out today so if you guys want to see horde live on camera Twitch link down below. I'm also live on YouTube. And if you don't, then I'll post our run tomorrow morning or something. So, yeah. I also played my first game of Ventures, and so I'll have that video going up probably tomorrow as well. Why not just spoil you guys, huh? Two videos in one day. What could possibly go wrong there? All right. So, Recycling Blog, MSK, new mode. Uh, let's go to the weekly side of things here. So, Super People Llamas are on the daily side of things. Super expensive. The only times you should buy Super People is if you get a Mythic Lead or a Mythic Lead Survivor. So, like a Mythic Hero or a Mythic Lead Survivor. Um, everything else in here can be available in regular missions uh, and uh, that's it that's a thousand extra tickets so spend wisely everybody spend wisely also my great llama is better than my super people so that's kind of fun on the weekly side of things we have rabbit raider jonesy who is one of the best heroes in the entire game you absolutely need to have this hero he is very very good so snipers in general are not that great but <laughs> bows count as snipers so if you want to make your xenon bow or your vacuum tube bow do significantly more damage rabbit raider in the lead plus the totally rocking out team perk is an excellent combo that is the highest damaging bow build you can make i'll link my bow video down below because stoneheart farah is definitely in there but she is only an optimal commander for like the vacuum tube bow if you want to do the most damage with any other bow rabbit raider is actually the commander you want with totally rocking out it'll do a ton of damage now i understand you'll get fall damage now you won't have double jump pharaoh's fun she's good she's good it's just that rabbit raider is insane <laughs> he should at least be in support if you're not using him in the lead very very good hero i have three copies so i'm not gonna buy them but you should all right all right basilisk it's a pretty mediocre pistol it's not that strong even when it's legendary you can get it if you want it's your gold it's your gold you'll try it out you know what does this guy know but uh, maybe maybe get the important stuff first then then buy that also got to pick up the weekly stuff the extra thing that we get is lightning in a bottle so if you need more lightning in the bottle and you have the extra gold to spare go for it if you're somebody who did cram session got that 10,000 gold i guess that's only good for the hero loadout but if you're somebody who grinded dungeons at least you're probably pretty good on gold and horde mode itself is actually doing pretty well because I, sh I showed it quickly but the daily stuff gives you lots of xp gold tickets and uh the actual run itself has been giving us i think over a thousand gold at least on the first try so it's pretty worth it it's pretty worth it if you need a lot of gold and that's pretty much the overview for everything going on there i'm gonna switch to br real quick just to talk about what's going on say a quick thank you to everybody using my code i am a couple days behind because of matteo filling in so yeah i think we can let me just get this scrolled up i don't know where i left off oh my god so many of you guys bought the avatar stuff and that's part of what i want to talk about because i know new skin up there but the avatar stuff is here i'm actually a huge fan of the show i have been on a rewatch recently there's a youtuber called over 
analyzing avatar who has overanalyzed every avatar episode and i think he's great thank you 11 meme she gifted me the entire set i did a little joke on camera where i went to my gift settings and turned them on and i said this is how you buy the skins right 100 percent kidding i know i have a lot of ebooks i was finally gonna spend them and then she gifted me all three sets anyway. So we've been rocking Toff and Katara all day. And I want to record a video with Zuko. I think that'd be super cool. Because I have an updated Dursong build. And I think that would be a, a fitting skin. You know, a little Firebender fire build. But anyway, uh, Avatar stuff is here. If you pick it up for yourself, definitely use code MIST at your checkout. I get 5% of your purchase at no further cost to you. And each of those bundles is like 2,000 V-Bucks, I think. So, um... Yeah, 2000 is like a dollar for me if you use my code at no further cost to you. But a couple days later, we've already got new stuff in the shop. Uh, Toshiro is a Fortnite original, so we got a nice little back bling color scheme. Got the Lego tax on there as well. Epic has done a really good job removing rarities. That way, little kids who are buying stuff from the shop can't immediately tell what stuff costs without looking at the number. It's a great way to trick people into spending more money. I think it's a really good change for Epic that's going to make them a lot more money, and refund requests will definitely rise. But... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's the wrap as well if you guys want to make your boat look orange. So I think that's pretty much it for BR. The only other thing of note is the Pumpernickel is back after 416 days. That is almost a year. So uh, easily one of the best emotes in the entire game. <laughs> That's actually one of the few emotes I bought a long time ago, just for myself, because it's just so stupid. I hate it, but like, yeah. Anyway, all right, let's go back to save the world, talk about what's going on. Talk about what's going on. Get those missions covered here real quick. Yeah. Thank you for uh, Pambu joining. Somebody somehow is already 140. Not even the only person in my sphere. Piper was here earlier. She was carrying us in the 140 zones. Madness. Uh, the only thing of note, there we go. 23-4 uh, player, 4x reperk. Then we've got the 46 zone with a llama token. This is one of two upgrade llama tokens available today. So if you want to go get a free upgrade llama like I had earlier, there you go. That's one of them available in the 46 zone once again. In the 58 zone, we got 4x lightning in a bottle. So if you need lightning in a bottle, then queue that mission for lightning in a bottle. If you need reperk, queue the 4x reperk 140. In the 74 player, oh my god, my brain. Trash Cannon, amazing launcher, does tons of damage, it could be any element. This is the exact same stats as the Bazooka, it's just cheaper to craft and has a little less durability. It is proportionately better to just use the Trash Cannon, so good weapon. 4x Lightning Bottle in the 82 4 player as well. And then we got the 108s with 4x uh, Drops of Rain. Somebody chat earlier, needed Drops of Rain, that would be a great mission to queue. I know the 108 zones aren't exactly accessible adventures, but... I don't know where you guys are at. 4X perk up and epic perk up in the 1084 player. Then we got the 124 zone right up here with 4X lightning bottle and stone foot crash. She is not that useful, but great for the collection book. 369 reperk, which is nice in the evac. And then we got our first out of three, two, two legendary survivors available today. I think they're both in ventures. Uh, yeah, I think I actually skipped one, didn't I? Yeah, legendary survivor in the 124 and then legendary survivor in the 140. So that's really good of Epic again, just like the removing rarity thing. Like leveling up in this game should be difficult. So making it borderline impossible by putting the legendary survivors in the end game forces people to grind, save the world and is good apparently <laughs> as my sarcasm would say huskbuster one of the best shotguns in the entire game is in the 140 evac if you have access to the zone that is an excellent shotgun that'll help you out all right moving on to 20 4x perk up in the 76 4 player and the repair of the shelter and then we're just gonna move all the way down here to the 108 zones 4x perk up and reperk and we got 4x perk up and then deliver the bomb moving on to the 124 zone oh yeah we're just moving right along here farmer's glory and a sector two decent melees by the way so there you go vacuum tube sword one of the best melees in the entire game that chain lightning is insane but it's currently bugged so hold on to it for later scene electric field one of the best traps in the entire game it can be two tiles up three by three area effects can be nature or energy great trap i actually just recycled all my nature copy for now because i can now <laughs> and energy is going to be good for the season because that's a nature storm 4x reperk in the 132 4 player that means we're going to be getting nature missions for the next uh, until june 19th because if you guys don't have this yearly timeline link down below in every single video if you don't have this down there actually i updated it today so let me just do that uh you should bookmark this it's a really useful resource as you just saw i keep it very updated and uh there you go so that's like the unknown rewards for horde i just filled in the battle pass xp and the 500 tickets for low gravity as we see those happening i will update it as we go uh yeah oh yeah i guess cotton till did come out today she gives you egg bombs when you phase shift it's nice um kind of fun sometimes in the lead for dungeons but mm, not the most important here however 4x eye the storm the 144 player wall dynamo on the 140 great trap as well energy or nature 
5x Eye of the Storm plus Legendary Perk Up in the 164 player. Then we've got 5x Reperk and the Prayer of the Shelter. So this or the Retrieve the Data would be the two good missions to run 10 times if you want that Hero Supercharger. Yes, you can run the same mission uh, 10 times. I did that pretty much today. 4x Lightning to Bottle in the 46-4 player in Canny. Then we got uh, 4x Drops of Rain in Canny. Again, another mission good for Drops of Rain. 4x Reperk in the Jolter. Not a weapon that's impressed me, but maybe you want to hold on to a copy. And then Plankerton is where we're going to be leaving off. we got two more things to talk about here. Upgrade Llama Token in the 28 zone. It's great because it's an Upgrade Llama Token. And uh, Power Base. Yeah, I know it's a blue copy, but he is still going to heal your walls in the support and the lead by a tremendous amount. The same amount, whether he's blue, purple, or gold, by the way. So Power Base Nox is a super useful hero. Definitely want to have him, especially in Horde mode, because he's great. Constructors are awesome, and he's a good one. So yeah, if you want that modifier and you don't have Power Base and you are desperate to get a decent Constructor build put together just go pick them up you'll pick up a blue copy you can always recycle it later put them in the book get your stuff back and then get a legendary copy later on very very useful hero all right i'm gonna go run horde go check out the stream link down below or check out the video in the morning uh subscribe see you guys there goodbye